Okay, here is a quick review of my 10 high 60 watt uh, laser cutter. I purchased this, this on uh, Amazon uh, almost two years ago. It is the 60 watt version and you can tell it's the 60 watt version because it has this big extension here. If it was a 40 watt version, the tube could fit in this width. Um, this is uh, a lot larger than the K40 machines. The bed can accommodate uh, 300 millimeters in the Y and uh, 400 millimeters in the X dimensions. The uh, Amazon web, uh, web page now does a much better job at just actually showing what all these buttons do. Uh, this is a automatic raise and lower on the bed, which is kind of slick. I've got this side open right now to talk about it in just a minute. You can see I have it vented, conveniently going out the cat door. This is the tube. You can see it goes all the way down in there. This is the cooling water here. This is the thermal sensor. Uh, I try to run this uh, tube at around 10 to 15 degrees C. You can see this is my cooler down here, this CW5000. This is actually a, a chiller, has a, a compressor in the inside and will actively cool the water. As you can see, we're right now about 8.4 C. So all it's doing is pumping right now. It doesn't have to, uh, doesn't have to do any uh, actual chilling. Here's a uh, sensor on the top that's saying that the water it thinks is 9.9 uh, .9 degrees C. So this has been a good laser printer not a laser printer, but a laser cutter engraver for me. But I have started to uh, have a few problems. If you've done some research on uh, these inexpensive Chinese uh, laser machines, uh, the K40 is a very popular machine. Uh, it's smaller than this machine, but it uses this same controller. And I can't pronounce the name, but it's like a uh, M2 Nano made by Lihiyu Studio Labs. And uh, to use this controller, you're, you're basically going to be using Corel Draw. Or there's some other options, but a lot of people use Corel Draw. This is a security key uh, that ships with the uh, Corel Draw. And. Um, the problems uh, I started to encounter is when I first bought this, uh, I started using the Corel Draw, and it's Corel Draw 12 that it ships with, so it's really quite old, and I'm not quite sure that it's a legitimate copy of Corel Draw. Uh, I purchased uh, Corel X8 and tried to use the uh, plugin, and I could not get it to work. Uh, this is on Windows 10 and uh, talked with their tech support which was fairly prompt and they said no give up on using on x8 maybe try Windows 10 32-bit I didn't necessarily want to do that so I tried uh, Corel Draw 12 on Windows 10 and that would also not work, was unsuccessful. So I ended up downgrading to Windows 7 and was able to get the system to work. And so what I do is I have a laptop over here and that was running Windows 7. Down in my workroom, I use Windows 10. And recently now the Corel driver that these guys supply doesn't want to work with Windows 10. 
So I started looking for options. And so what I did is I purchased a Cohesion 3D laser board and installed it in my installed it in place of this. And uh, it was about 200 bucks. Took me a couple of hours to do the research, get it plugged in. All of the connectors just drop right in. Uh, so pretty painless. I only had to make a couple of changes. There's a configuration, this little SD card here. There's a text configuration file that I had to modify just to say what size my bed in my laser was. This wants to be the manufacturer. Cohesion says that they want this to be used with their own dedicated power supply, which is this guy. And I wired in a uh, female AC socket, so it's all contained within here. So the Corel program uh, works okay, but is a little uh, difficult to use. And I always had problems trying to get uh, engraving and cutting and different powers to work correctly. Never could get it to do so. I'd have to do one job that's engraving and then I'd have to do cutting and it was clumsy at best. So I am using the Lightburn software with the Cohesion 3D. I've only been using it for a couple of hours, but it is very easy to use and is slick. And so you can see what I've done here is I've got just downloaded a little uh, bitmap image. And what you can do is I have this, which is an image, and I've got a couple of different lines. And you see there are different colors. And over here, I can assign these different colors to run at different speeds and different powers. And, and this just works out slick, slick, slick. So what you can see over here is it, when I pulled in this picture, it said it's an image. And so it's going to do like a raster type uh, engraving. Uh, then I'm going to, this red is I'm going to do at 100 millimeters per second, 20% power. The blue, I'm just going to do another line and then do that at fast and 20% power. Then the green line, I want to cut that, cut the piece out. And so I'm going to go much slower and I'm going to go at 100% power. That's all it takes. It's really slick. Okay, so I have the machine up and running. You can see there's a red uh, laser dot which will point at the work. Uh, however, it's blocked by the gantry, so it's not showing down on the wood. Now, it's something to note here is that there is no safety mechanism that, uh, on this unit, or at least on the unit I had, so the laser will run when this lid is up. So, make sure you have a good pair of safety glasses. I'm wearing a good pair of safety glasses right now. Another thing that was interesting to me initially was, okay, I have this set up at 99.9% .9 power, so 100% power. So what this will do is this will run at 10% of my 100% power, 20% of my 100% power. If this was set at 50, sorry about all the waving around, this would do 10% of 50 or 20% of 50. That works out just fine. Okay, so I'm going to pause and I'm going to get this set up. And I'll okay, I'm going to start this job. And you can see here that the Star Wars is in red. And I have it selected as fill and line. So it's going to do a raster image of this. And it's going to fill all the text up. And then it'll do a trace around the text. The blue will just be a quick line. And then the green... I have running at much slower and at full power. So I'm going to try to cut out this piece. 
This wood I've got in here is uh, plywood, and it is 3 16th inch thick, and uh, what, maybe uh, five millimeters, just under five millimeters maybe. Okay, it's gonna be a little noisy because I've got my air assist turned on. I'm running at 100% power. My tube is at 11C. I'm gonna hit start. I'm gonna run with this open. I have my laser glasses on. And I'm gonna come over here and hit start. Okay, I'll record the whole thing. And uh, here you can see that the uh, red uh, laser, the visible laser, is showing approximately where the CO2 laser is going to be burning. Uh, note that the CO2 laser is not visible. You want to keep your hands out of here because there are exposed uh, lasers. This, uh, I'll point to it, there's going to be a laser beam coming, where's my finger, down this direction, hitting this mirror, coming over here, hitting this mirror, and going down to the woodwork. As you can see, I'm not getting a whole lot of smoke here. The enclosed fan that's back here is doing a good job of sucking out all the fumes. record this whole thing and uh, see a little bit of the smoke there in that darker image. This image is about 70 millimeters tall. This 70 millimeters square. You can see that the uh, tube temperature has gone up slightly. It's bouncing around just a tenth of a degree. So, I have never been able to do this before in, with the uh, Corel and K40, where I can do this, I don't know what you call it, grayscale. Okay, now it's doing the fill, the line plus outline, or the fill plus outline of the text. Generating more smoke here on this one. As I said, I've, I've only used this uh, light burn for maybe an hour or so. Uh, so it's very easy to use. Almost done with the fill. Now it's doing the outline. Another outline. And now we're cutting. Okay. Okay, there you have it. Finished product. It fell right out. So that uh, speed 
and 100% power uh, was fine to plow right through that piece of plywood. And it looks pretty good. So that's the review of uh, my 10 high laser and uh, the light burn software and the cohesion 3D laser board. 3D laser board was easy peasy hookup and swap out, no problems whatsoever. Cohesion, uh, the light burn software, easy to use. The 10 high hardware laser system has been running for me for nearly two years. No problems whatsoever. Works out really slick. Uh, the only complaint I would have is having to use the Corel Draw old windows uh, with this control board. There you have it. Any questions, let me know.